Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian, and today I'm gonna to be doing another beauty video for you guys. So a few days ago, I did upload my current hair care routine. If you guys have not seen that video yet, I will link it down below for you to check out. But a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy that video, so I thought why not bring another beauty video for you guys. And plus, I'm always getting a lot of questions on this topic. So since I am about to do my nails anyways, I thought why not sit down and film this video for you guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I do my fake nails at home. Now, I honestly rarely ever go get my nails professionally done at the salon because one, it's so expensive and two, why not just do it at home if it's more affordable and it turns out just as pretty. So I do my nails sometimes um, gel because I do own the gel manicure kit. If I want more of a fake nail look, I will do um, fake nails, which is what I'm going to show you guys today. Now, there's a ton of different brands of fake nails out there, but me personally, I like to use the brand Kiss. One, it's affordable, and two, it lasts a really long time on my nails. So that's just the one I usually go for, and Kiss always has a ton of different designs you can choose from in colors, lengths. So that's what I go for. I usually go for the real short length or the medium if I find a color that I really like and then I'll just cut it to be a little bit shorter because sometimes that's a little too long for me. But today I have the Kiss Revolutionary Acrylic Nails and this is just in the natural color. So a lot of times I will wear this just plain like that natural or I will paint it and like I said I do have it in the real short length. So today I am going to be painting my nails. So I'm gonna show you guys all the steps on how I apply the nails, what I do to prep my nails and how long they last. So let's just jump right into my video. All right guys, so all the supplies you'll need to do your nails at home is some fake nails of your choice, some nail polish if you choose to color your nails, some alcohol and a cotton ball or swab. First, you're going to remove all the nail polish from your nails if you have any nail polish on your nails. Then you're going to apply a little bit of alcohol to a cotton ball and put it all over your nails, making sure to remove any excess oil. If you have any oils in your nails, that will prevent the glue from sticking to the fake nails. Now I'm going to remove all of the items from my box. It does come with a nail filer, a little wooden stick, glue, and nails. I'm going to take this wooden stick and I'm going to push back all of my cuticles. If you guys have a cuticle remover, then you guys can just remove your cuticles, but I don't have a cuticle remover, so I'm just going to push back all of my cuticles using this little wooden stick that my kit came with. And now I'm going to take the mini nail filer. There are two sides. The baby blue side is the softer side. The darker side is a little more rougher. I'm going to take the softer side and I'm going to file all of my nails. By filing your nails, it's going to let the nail adhere to your real nail a little better and it'll stay on longer. So I'm just going to repeat this process to all of my nails. Next, I am going to remove all the fake nails from the packaging and I'm going to try to size it to my real nail as best as possible and then find the matching pair. Once I'm done with that, I will line everything up so once I start gluing down my nails, it'll be a little bit easier if it's in order. I'm going to take my glue, I'm going to open it and snap off the top part. Top part has a little plastic part. So once you snap that off, the glue will start coming out. So you can either choose to put the glue on the fake nail and your real nail, but I usually just apply it all over my nail and that's good enough. Then I'm going to take my fake nail and try to apply it close as possible to my cuticle and press down. I'm also going to move my finger around on the nail, moving back and forth motions. Just in case there are any air bubbles, it will get any of those air bubbles out and I usually hold it down for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds and that's usually long enough for my nails to stick.
Now that all my nails are on, I am going to take this nail filer and I'm just going to file my nails a little bit to a shape that I like a little better. And also there's usually a little bit of plastic left on the top of the nail, so I like to file that off as well. So I'm just gonna go around to each nail and file it. So my last step is to just paint my nails. So I'm going to be using this SC nail polish. I am going to do two coats of this color and then I will go in with the silver glitter and I will add the silver glitter only to my ring fingers. And then I will go in with my clear top coat nail polish to finish it off. Right, guys so that is going to end my beauty video for today on how to do your own fake nails at home this is the end results of how it looks i still need to clean it up because i suck at painting my nails and they are still a little wet but this is how they look and i think they turned out good for me doing them at home i've definitely done a better job in the past so yeah either way they turned out really pretty so that's how my nails turned out and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to do your nails at home so that is going to end my beauty video for today if you guys would like me to start filming more beauty videos here on my channel then just let me know in the comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up and i'll definitely start filming more beauty videos for you guys as always thank you so much for watching if you have not already i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join me and my youtube family and i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas video bye